Aloha, church family. I hope this update finds you healthy and enjoying the grace of our wonderful Savior. Um, you know, as I was preparing for this today, I was thinking um, we're hearing a lot. We're listening to a lot of things right now, uh, probably more so than we normally would. We're listening to a lot of news reports. In fact, again, I want to encourage you, don't listen to too many news reports. Um, it, it'll kind of get real discouraging real fast. But, but we're hearing a lot of news and, and uh, a lot of media. We're, we're listening and hearing government officials uh, as they run through what the latest uh, restrictions are or what restrictions they're taking off or thinking about taking off. We're listening to a lot of people's opinions. You know, when you go online or maybe you talk to someone on the phone and you're hearing people's opinions, what they think about what we're in right now. And uh, so there's a lot of voices and a lot of people to be listening to. Got to ask you a question though. Are you listening for the voice of God right now? Are, are you listening to what he may be saying? Mm. I was thinking about this, and, and not too many weeks ago, we had a power outage up at our house. And it was, you know, at least all the houses in our little area. And it was at night, and it happened to be one of those nights where there wasn't any wind blowing either. So uh, as Louise and I lay there in bed with no electricity and no wind, we commented how eerily quiet it was. I mean, you couldn't you couldn't hear any buzz in the background of, a, of, of any kind of electrical device. Um, and and it, just, it just seemed super, super quiet, almost to the point, like I said, of being eerie. Um, and, and, I, and I was thinking about that. You know, our lives are so full of, of various kinds of activity and noise, and sometimes it's hard to hear anything else. Perhaps God's put us in this time of crisis, of stay at home, to quiet our lives so that we'll better be able to listen to his voice. John 10, 27, Jesus said this, My sheep listen to my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Seems to me the key in that passage is, as sheep, we need to be listening to the shepherd's voice. If you're not listening to the shepherd's voice, it's kind of hard to follow where he's leading. Let me share a quick story with you about someone who just recently listened to the voice of God during this time of crisis and how it turned out to be an incredible blessing for us. There was a a friend of mine on Oahu, and he and his wife have been praying for quite a while. How can we help? How can we be used by you, God, during this time of crisis? And as they prayed, they both felt very strongly that the Holy Spirit was telling them to take the money from their stimulus check from the government and use it to purchase food to send to Molokai. Well, that's exactly what they did. They got their stimulus check here just recently. They went out to the store they bought as much food as they could, 400 plus pounds. They arranged to have it brought over here to Molokai, and it now sits in our food bank and has already been used to help folks in need here on Molokai. That's a couple that's been listening for the voice of God during this crisis. Man, I want to challenge you. Listen to his voice during this time. Let's be good sheep and listen to the shepherd's voice. Hey, I wanna remind you, we're here. We wanna help you in any way that we can. Just give us a call, text us, let us know what you need, whatever that may look like. Uh, we wanna be here to encourage you and to help you out. Sunday, we're gonna be back in the book of Malachi, and so tune in to our YouTube channel as we continue to work our way through this amazing book and see how it speaks to us during this time that we're in right now. And as I close out, let me just remind you, Romans 12, 12, rejoice in our confident hope. Be patient in trouble. Keep on praying. Amen.